Hello everyone, this is Brock Skaggs, and in this video uh, we're going to look at creating a alternate position view inside of a SolidWorks drawing. And so the simple assembly we've got here is a scissor jack. Uh, you might find it in your car or a truck. And just to kind of show what we have going on here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete this initial condition mate. And I can pull it up and down to raise and lower the jack. And the idea behind the alternate position view is that I want to have a view which shows the jack in its collapsed position, we'll say like this, or in its extended position, say like this. A uh, common thing would be to apply dimensions and show the range of heights uh, that this top plate could reach uh, depending on the state of the jack itself. And so we are going to get into the drawing side of things, but before we do that, what we're going to have to have is a couple of configurations inside of the SOLIDWORKS assembly. And so to do that, I'm just going to go through the assembly tab, go into mate, and I'm going to be mating the end of my thread to the end of this connector here. Uh, by default, it went to coincident, uh, but really I want to change this to a distance mate so that then I can control the distance between those two surfaces and essentially control the height of the jack. And so for the collapse state, I'm just going to say this value is zero. And I'll accept that. I'll go in here. Uh, give me one second. There we go. So we can rename default and I'll call this collapsed. Uh, so for our second configuration, I'll just right click here. I'll go add configuration. Um, I'm going to call it extended. Just using manual configurations here. And then I'll come back over to the feature tab, go into the mates. Should be the very last mate here is our distance mate. And I'll right click, I'll go configure the feature. Uh, first saying, do I want to suppress it? No, but in the distance mate, I want access to that D1 dimension. And so in the clap state, I want it to be zero. But in the extended state, I want the value to be 8.5. And hitting OK automatically change that distance mate value to 8.5 and as you can see it extended the jack and so here I can now toggle between these two I've got the collapsed and the extended states of my jack which is exactly what I want to show inside of the SOLIDWORKS drawing and so that's looking good I'll go ahead and save this out and now we can create a new drawing. So create a new drawing. I've got a custom template. I'll just go ahead and use it. And we'll go through view layout, bring in a model view of our jack. I'll go ahead and bring in a front view. There we go. And so there's a front view. You can see it's in the collapse configuration. Um, one way I can see that is if I select the view, I can come over here to reference configuration and notice it says collapsed. Um, so now I want to basically kind of superimpose a extended configuration of the jack in place of it. And so how do I do that? Well, on view layout, you can see the view all the way here to the right is the alternate position view. And so I'll just accept it. And I'll just really follow the prompts at this point. Uh, notice on the left hand side it says select a drawing view which an alternate position view is created in. Well that's going to be this view here. Um, do I want to create a new configuration or use an existing? Well in this case I've already made the configuration so I'm going to use an existing configuration here. It should be the only one in the drop down because this SOLIDWORKS assembly file just has the collapse and extended configurations. And so I'll use the extended configuration, hit the green check mark, and it is now placing on top of the collapse state a view of the extended state there. And so that is the extended position. Uh, one of the common things I could do is just use dimensions here in order to lay out the heights. So let's go ahead and go from here. I'm having trouble selecting there. Now I've got it. And so, for instance, there's the height of the jack in the collapse state. And now for the extended state, um, what I really want to do is select this bottom face again, use the same reference, and say, well, it can be extended up to a certain value. Uh, notice here, even though I've selected that very top, it's jumping the extension line all the way down to the 
bottom of the collapse state here. Uh, I believe this is a bug as of the time I'm recording this that SolidWorks has in 2016. Um, I looked online in some of the forums and basically people were talking about the same issue and kind of getting frustrated with it. Uh, so there's kind of workarounds you could do. Um, one way would be to create a little bit of a sketch object. Uh, if I can get SolidWorks back here it's kind of froze up on me. Uh, now it looks like we're back in action. And so one of the ways you can work around that is by doing something like putting a sketch point or making a, a very small sketch line and just putting it up here. And so you can see at the very corner there I've got a very small sketch point. And with that I should be able to pick up the correct point for my extension line, just like so. And so again, not an ideal um, way to do that, uh, but it does get the job done, so to speak. And so hopefully when they push out another service pack or update SolidWorks, that will be fixed and working as expected. And so hope this helps you out in creating uh, some nice drawings of assemblies that have uh, components that move through certain ranges of motion and you want to show in one nice view um, what the different states will be um, in the limiting position, say, of an assembly. And so uh, with that, I'm going to finish off this video. Uh, thanks for watching.